everyone, welcome to Screen This. Today, I'll be recapping Episode 7 of The Amazing Race Canada. In the start of the seventh leg, we see Jet and Dave leave at 3.05 in the morning, and they need to fly to none of it. We find out the first flight is at 6 a.m., and guess what? Everyone is on the same flight. Once arriving at the airport, teams find their next clue in a different language, so they need to find someone to translate it. When Vanessa and Selena find someone, and that person says, Sylvia Grinnell, Vanessa says, wow, that's like a different language. No shit, Sherlock. Teams now head to Sylvia Grinnell Park. Everyone got there pretty easily, but the Tims hit a slight roadblock when their taxi driver said he had to go to the bathroom. Tim Sr. says, no time for the bathroom. So they get out, and miraculously, there's another taxi sitting there as soon as they get out. When arriving at the park, they find the next clue, which tells them to find the two throat singers. Detour time! In Harpoon Hunter, one team partner needs to drag their other partner on a sled for one kilometer. Then they both have to harpoon the target, and then the other person that was on the sled will have to drag back their partner. In Igloo Builder, you guessed it, teams need to build an igloo. I don't see why anyone would want to build the igloo. Well. Fred and Holly and Jed and Dave decided to build the igloo, and needless to say, both teams had a lot of trouble. Jed and Dave were the first to realize it was way too hard, so they switched, and then probably 20 or 30 minutes later, Brett and Holly decided to switch. After teams complete the detour, they need to find a snowmobile and drive across Frobisher Bay to the Hudson's Bay Trading Post for their next clue. While everyone heads to the next clue, the Tims have to complete a speed bump where they need to lead a dog sled team to a specific area. The Tims completed it pretty fast, it didn't seem hard anyway, but they got back at the same time as Vanessa and Selena, so they both headed to the next clue at the same time. Next up, Roadblock. One member of the team has to eat muck tuck. In case you don't know what that is, it's raw whale skin and blubber. Fat. It's rich in vitamin D though. The Inuit people actually call it chewing gum. Anyways, one team member has to eat 10 pieces. I couldn't watch Selena eat it. Her gag reflexes made me want to gag. Once complete, teams head to the pit stop, which is one kilometer away from where they eat the muktuk, but up a mountain. And for the first time in three weeks, Jed and Dave were not first, as Jody and Corey reached the pit stop first. They won tickets to anywhere Air Canada flies in the Caribbean. The Tims finished second. They had a fantastic leg and continue to survive. Kudos to them. But like I said in my last recap, I gotta give props to the sisters. They continue to surprise They almost finished third, but Jet and Dave were right behind them, and they got up the mountain faster than the sisters. But they were still great. By now, you can tell who was last. And I don't know about you, but I'm so glad Brett and Holly are out. They argued so much, and Holly cried way too much. It was super annoying, and so peace out. On next week's episode, teams head to Nova Scotia, and we see another double U-turn. Yeah! The stakes are getting higher, and there's only four teams left. What will happen? Tune in next week, and don't forget to subscribe.